Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And in this video, we're going to get started setting up our project, which is already created for you as a Create React app with a little bit of tweaks here. That way we can all make sure we're on the same version of all of the projects. So let's get going on that right now. Okay, so unlike other Level Up Tutorial series, this series is going to sort of assume that you have a little bit of React knowledge. Now, you don't have to be a React master, but you should probably have taken level one React, also known as React 16 for everyone. And you probably should have taken React hooks for everyone, or at least have the ability to, well, parse hooks just by looking at them. You don't maybe have to take the course, but maybe just have an understanding of hooks. Now, in a lot of our courses that we start usually from the beginning. However, React Spring is one of these things where the versions tend to make a huge deal. Over the course of time, React Spring has changed its API quite a bit. Now, I'm under the understanding that this current API is going to be sticking around. However, you never know. So for this series, I would like to keep versions as locked down as possible. And to do that, I've created the Animating React Starter. It's a starter kit. It's available on Level Up Tutorials. And if you're expecting something major, it's not going to be major. All this is is a Create React app with some basic CSS styles that we're going to be using along with some versions. Now, the versions of stuff that we're going to be using at the time of recording this is 16.8.6 for React and React DOM. And then React Spring is at version 8. Um, this is 8.0.19, but 8 is the thing that matters because really that was the update with React hooks. Okay, so you want to make sure that if you're adding this to your project and you would like to follow along, that your versions are at least somewhat what we're working with here. Now, since this is a more advanced level course, I'm not going to go through the process of cloning this thing. Uh, so we're not going to waste a whole video on cloning the project. Okay, you can see I already have the project cloned up here. So you'll just want to go ahead and head to the link that's in the description of this video and go ahead and clone this repo. You can pause this video and give yourself a chance to do that to get this fired up. And what we're going to be doing is running this application. Now to do that, we simply just need to do yarn start. So forgive me if this seems a little bit more rushed than some of the other ones in the introduction. Since this is a more advanced level course, I'm going to assume that you know how to get a Create React app project up and running. So you should be seeing localhost port 3000 and this nice little blue background. And instead of the React logo, we have the Level Up Tutorials logo. And we have a nice little menu button up here that we're going to be using at some point. Okay, so I'm going to open this up. I'm also going to assume that you have the React Dev Tools, of which we're going to have and we're going to be using. The React Dev Tools, however, are going undergoing some major changes right now. And there is a chance that they will look a little bit different than what you're seeing in the recording of this video. Chances are, functionally, they should remain somewhat similar. Okay. So, with that said, we should have our project up and running, and we should be ready to go in the next video to actually create our first React Spring. Now, this video was very short here, and that's no problem. We don't need to waste a ton of time. Let's go ahead and fire up the next video where we dive into creating our very first animation using React Spring.